All right, guys and girls, this is Bag of Soup coming at you with a new video. I haven't really posted much the past couple days because of all the things going on in the game. I've spent most of my time giving feedback to Big Sonic and listening to players and what they're dealing with. We're going to talk about some of that. Uh, first thing you'll notice here is that I have dumped my dash bot. I also don't have my scourge weapons in. Uh, I was using them to feature them in the game and to actually put them to the test on the live server so I could give some feedback to Pixonic about how strong the dashbots are or uh, how we can make them better balanced and I've done that but I don't feel comfortable at this point uh, having them in the game when a lot of other players can't get them and uh, because they are still so powerful and that's how they were on the test server and they were never addressed before they were released so I'm not going to be using my dashbot or my scourges until the dashbots get adjusted or until the um, prices go down and players are actually able to afford them. Uh, so until then, I'm just going to run a regular hanger. As a matter of fact, over the next week or so, I'm going to be uh, talking about how to make budget hangers for players that don't have a lot of resources, whether it's an all silver hanger or just silver and workshop or silver workshop and gold because you can accumulate the resources over time. Uh, so obviously first things first, we know the dashbots are still powerful. I have submitted all my feedback to Pixonic uh, directly and so have some of the other YouTubers. Uh, all the adjustments or nerfs that we would like to see put into place uh, that I hope are reasonable. Uh, we are also waiting for that 3.2 update to hit. It did hit the droid uh, uh, side of the, the game this past week and of course we, uh, there's a lot of things we didn't like about the new update and a lot of players are concerned. Uh, I share those concerns as well and I've been talking with players about it and uh, Pixonic about it as well. Obviously a couple of the things is um, the uh, price of the dash bots, the new um, uh, scourge weapon, the um, inquisitor bot is just too expensive. You know we're talking about two or three hundred dollars for a bot uh, or even a hundred dollars for a weapon and that's just too much. Um, and, uh, we, and we know that, and we've talked to Pixonic about that. Now, they may have plans coming up to um, take these new component pieces and fold some of the other currencies into it and to get those component pieces out there um, for better deals like producing them in the workshop, maybe Workshop 2.0, and that could help to bring the price down. But still, you can't really add these new prices and things in until that's all in place or it just doesn't come out right at all. And even if you could produce that many component pieces, to sell them outright at that kind of cost is still too much. So um, we're talking to them a ton about that. I hope they're getting a lot of feedback from it, even negative, uh, until they get that fixed. Because I totally agree. Uh, it's just out. It's too much. It's outrageous costs. And uh, so I'm not going to run them. Um, even my Tempest weapon, which I got back in July, it was costing about 22 bucks during the July 4th event and right now with component pieces seems to be costing a little over a hundred and that doesn't make sense either so I'm even uh, leaving my Tempests out right now that I uh, got back and, and won uh, fair and square off the uh, chest so uh, that's just a couple things right now we know that once again you know we wanted less currencies we've got the component pieces now added as well now hopefully they will use those to simplify some currencies down but until you do that you just kind of added another thing so I understand a lot of those frustrations uh, that are out there right now um, and uh, I just want to put into a, a note here I know some players uh, give some of the youtubers a hard time for their position uh, either saying we don't say enough negative things about the game or uh, we just like to say positive things because of all the things we get and guys honestly uh, you know, we say all of our negative or direct criticisms straight to Pixonic. Uh, we get the feedback from you guys, we get it from our clan mates, from our own perspective in the game, and we give it directly to to, um, to our Pixonic rep in chat. Uh, I could post you the screenshots of what I've typed uh, all the time, but it's, it's pri personal and private a lot of times, and I don't want to do that. But believe me, I've gone on some rants in there. But I also try to make it constructive and helpful uh, and I also try to treat some of these people like real people because we, we do know them and some of the people we work with don't have a lot of control over a lot of decisions and they're just trying to do the best job that they can uh, so I also try to remember that but um, like, like a, a ship with a captain and a crew you know we're trying to help out and we try to give our feedback in the most helpful way and we and if we need to do it behind closed doors that's what we do 
I don't do this for money. I don't do this for views. As a matter of fact, one of the only reasons I'll ever quit my channel is if uh, the publicity or visibility gets too big. I, I'm not even a big fan of that. I do this because I want to get information out to players about the game. I love getting information out before it's out to everyone else so I can help people prepare for that. Um, yes, I've gotten a bot or two. Literally, I think Pixonic has only ever given me two bots and two weapons ever for all the uh, videos I've made. And I'm currently using none of them in my hangar anyway, uh, even ones I've gotten before. So um, I don't do it for bots and I don't do it for money or views. Believe me, I could be doing other things than this. I just love the game and I love to get info out to people. Um, so those are just some of the things. Obviously, we're frustrated with the game right now, and we're giving direct feedback, and I hope Pixonic's listening, uh, and some of the roles that we do as YouTubers. Uh, also, I know some players out there are um, scheduling some boycotts and some different things they want to do, and I say, hey, if that makes you feel like uh, it'll be a way to get Pixonic's attention, then, then go for it. Um, I wouldn't stop anybody uh, as, as long as the, the dialogue and feedback is getting through and if, if it takes, you know, um, stopping to spend money or stopping to play or stopping to use certain bots or whatever, you know, do what you think you've got to do. Um, uh, that's, you know, up to every player uh, to decide. Uh, I've also noticed, you know, some videos lately by Phoenix and Lloyd Lamar, who are both great players, uh, talking about how e they're either done with the game or moving on to Battle Titans or something else. And, and you know, I agree with a lot of the points in their videos. Um, uh, I do, and I recognize their skill and ability as players and their long-time um, experience in the game. Uh, but, but two things. Number one, uh, even with the problems in this game, uh, even with the trajectory it's been going lately, um, I still love this game more than any other game, and I still don't have a reason to quit the game yet. I, I will take this game and its problems over most any other game any day of the week, uh, number one. Uh, number two, um, as neat as Battle Titans looks, I'm a playtester. I've been playtesting it for over two months now. Uh, I still think that this game is currently better than Battle Titans, and it's a lot more established with a lot more bots, weapons, maps, and features at this point that Battle Titans is going to really have to catch up. They're just uh, different types of games in the same genre. Maybe it'll help with competition to make each game better, but I just don't think that game is the savior that other people are making it out to be quite yet. Uh, so once again, as much as I may play that game here and there, uh, this is still the game that I love. Um, this, by the way, here was the first match I played after I dumped my dashbot and scourges out of my hangar. And as you can tell, it really didn't hurt me too much. Uh, I did three million damage games yesterday, six games over 900,000 just with my regular old hangar. My damage average and win percentage actually went up in solo and clan play. So I'll be talking all week about different hangers you can make with what's in the game now. Uh, everything I've got in my hangar right now, I have just earned over time. Uh, with silver, workshop points, and gold, it's very doable if you're patient. Uh, so anyway, I still love the game, but I realize there are definitely some problems right now and some criticisms and some feedback that we are giving Pixonic, and I hope they listen. Uh, like I said, I still love the game, and I just want to make it better. Um, and like I said, I hope you'll give some of those YouTuber guys a break, because like I said, I know them personally, and they're not here for money and visibility. They're here because they love the game, and they love uh, the people that subscribe to their channels, want to get the info out. So uh, that's it for now. Like I said, we're busy giving feedback on uh, changes. I want to see what happens when the update hits Apple uh, this coming week and uh, any changes from there. And you know, it's a real shame that Pixonic has gotten themselves in the position that they have because they have done some neat stuff lately too that we just don't talk about very much, like the Valley Map, uh, which I think is fantastic. Uh, Beacon Rush is a really neat alternative mode. Uh, I'm so thankful and excited for custom game mode and everything we can do with that. Uh, the Scourge weapon has been really great and pretty balanced if they'll just get into the hands of more players for cheaper. Uh, and hopefully same with the Ember Flamethrower. So a lot of neat stuff that we just don't talk about because of the big negative stuff that we're having to deal with, uh, which I hope does get fixed. So like I said, I hope you enjoy the video. Please uh, leave your comments below. But let once again, let's try to keep it positive and helpful, even if it's some big stuff that's negative that we have to talk about. Get ready this week because I'm leveling up another Griffin and a Thunder Weapon to do my all silver hanger plus my silver and workshop and then silver workshop and gold hangers. It's going to be a lot of fun. 
Uh, and uh, from Bag of Soup here, I hope you have a great War Robots day. <laughs>